Great here. Welcome to a World of Warships replay. This is in my Bayern on the New Dawn map. This is actually one of the last rounds that I have in my Bayern. I'm actually on the Nice now presently. On this map, I'm a I'm a firm believer of what Wargaming has said they designed this map for, which is that the north spawn goes from east to west across the map, the north side of the map. And the southern spawn, uh, the southern spawning team, goes from west to east across the southern side of the map. I rarely go against that meta. There's a few cases to be made, but generally that's what I do by default, as I feel that's what most people actually expect to happen. Our team presently is not doing that. So I'm going to end up uh, heading across without a screening element. And that will come into play a little bit later. I love my German BPs. Uh, the Bayern, yes, enemy forces are detected. The Bayern is the first uh, German BB where, if you're running a secondary build, will actually have its secondary guns reach out to uh, a respectable 7.4 kilometers. So even though I'm past the Bayern now, I've kept the ship. I I love running it every once in a while. It's great. So here we're getting a bunch of spots on the enemy fleet and I'm getting ready to take a shot on this Omaha and what I don't notice is that he is actually slowing down so these shots are gonna land way way in front of him but fortunately I did not fire a full salvo I've got that rear gun I see that he is stopping thanks to the smoke coming out of his smokestacks and put one salvo directly midships and as Jingle says broadside on that's a paddling take out his boiler room you can tell by the flames coming out of his stacks and he is dead in the water so let's just fire another salvo directly at him and see what we can do I right, take a shot there I think it's from the one of the two barons I'm not sure mm, respectable damage but not another uh, citadel I'm holding fire on my on my rear turret here because I figure he is going to be moving and I wanted to see which direction he was going before I took my final shot. So since he was backing up, I aim at his stern and cut loose. Those look good. He finally fires a few rounds at me, but he is dead. First kill of the round. My secondaries are opening up on that kamikaze, so I'm turning to get away from the... Ouch. <laughs> turning to get away from his torpedoes that our CV has lit up with his fighters. And of course, I go broadside on to a battleship, so, yep, that's a bad one. But, here it is. I return it the favor in kind as he was broadside on to me. So, everyone's obscured by the smoke. My uh, AA is lighting up some fighters here. I'm hoping to, at least for another shot at him. Recently, reasonably angled, but mm, I definitely want to open up the the range here for a bit. Let my uh, repair cool down. Uh, get a little bit closer to being activated again before I close in on him. Negligible damage. This is what I noticed the uh, Genevni who has snuck up on in front of us, and. Is that a... what is that? A Congo, I think? That is being attacked? Yeah. That's being bombed and torpedoed. So I clear the... Well, nope, I hold off. I'm waiting for him to turn again. I got my secondaries opening up on him. Give him a decent amount of lead. Switch over to HE, but I clear the guns instead of uh, actually just reloading. 2.7... Thousand damage is nothing to sneeze at, even though it's all overpens. Here I was turning away so the uh, the Congo could go inside of me, so we don't run into each other. But I want to try to keep that Gnemni within my secondary range and just keep him lit up. The uh, spotter plane catches the torpedoes, and at that range, I wasn't in any danger. I think the Gnemni's only got four kilometer torpedoes. 
So I wait for him to turn to the other side to launch his broadside and take him out with the high explosive. I switch back over to AP because I'm reasonably certain that the... Yeah, they're the... Uh, no, that's a Hatsuhara. There's the Kamikaze. is spotted way to the south, so I'm not worried about having to go chasing down destroyers in my battleship yet again. And here comes my second repair. When I when I notice it, I'm just going to take a quickie shot, a quickie cheeky shot at this bear. I'm waiting for him to get a little more broadside on. That looks about good. He's forced to turn because of the uh, the torpedoes that are going after him. I hit him for 10k. There's one torpedo hit. There's two torpedo hits. I think he hits a third in here. Yep, there's the third one. So between my salvo and those torpedo hits, he... Ah, uh, well, something got him. Yep, another torpedo hit. So he was toasted. So now it's time to start chasing the Bayern that uh, I traded broadsides with just a little bit ago. Could aim at the Fuso. He turned inside of where I was aiming, which is fine. Like I said, I could be firing at that Fuso over there, but I think, yeah, he's behind the island at the moment, so... The only ship I really have to fire at is this Bayer. Our team has been holding surprisingly well on the other side of the map. They've made it all the way to the southern border and are now pushing the the team, the enemy team, back this way. So it's up, for, up to us on the north side to start pushing south. Nice hit on the bay in there for 7k. And people say that you can't, you can't hit at a distance with uh, these German guns. Just gotta get used to them. And sacrifice plenty of children to R and Jesus. So here I see him turning, so I fire a little bit to the inside. I don't think any of these are going to hit. Eh, 2.4k damage for a single, single shot on his deck. I'll take it. Yeah, that Fuso's get now within range, and I have clear shots at him. Bayern's not quite going broadside. It looks like he's turning back, so I'm trying to angle f a bit up and forward again. We'll see how those go. And the Congo is back here helping me. Now, this part I didn't quite understand. There's the Independence, and you see that the Independence is running east to west uh, along the southern border. I guess they're trying to get away from our forces down there. The uh, Zuho is also down there, and that's when the Kamikaze pops up to the side. I have to turn hard. My secondaries open up. I do score hidden here, but I know that his torpedoes are on the way, so I needed to turn to avoid those torpedoes. Unfortunately, this brought me, puts me broadside onto the Bayern, which, fortunately enough, his shots do not land as hard as they could have. Now here I'm angling into the island. That way, if he uh, fires off another salvo or torpedoes, they would, the track would be on the island. Get the HE loaded again, fire off a salvo, and I do not hit. Now that the rear guns are coming around, I see the Zuho, uh, who drops off. There's the independence, but I decide to let's uh, give the Bayern a shot, and then cut hard over again, as his shots are incoming. And by cutting over, 
there's the torpedoes from the kamikaze who expected me to go along the north side of that island so now he's wasted two salvos on me torpedoes to starboard. so i'm going to leave the he loaded a bit longer and what i'm going to do to i starboard. don't want this kamikaze to uh to live too much longer so i need to close with him to well within my secondary range to let my secondaries take care of him since he's smoked up i'm not going to be able to shoot him I'm going to get more shots out on this Bayer, even if they're HE shots. And there's the Kamikaze with his pea shooters. A few more rounds out on the Bayer. And there's the enemy, uh, enemy bombers going back in after their run on the Congo. That's going to be important in a little bit. Now here's where the uh, our aircraft carrier really starts to help out as he's got his bombers waiting for that smoke to dissipate and that's going to help me in a minute but first i'm going to see if i can uh convince this independence that he's going the wrong direction there's one nice hit A little more from the pea shooter from the kamikaze but i'm bringing my guns around because there's the torpedoes that the bombers spotted the kamikaze smoke has dissipated turn off the uh, torpedo track let him get underway give him a bit of lead nice solid damage but uh, only one shell hit then i'm turning to bring my rear guns to play but my secondaries take him take care of him that's when I pick up the torpedo bombers now that I've actually touched them with my high explosive I know these torpedo bombers are hitting into me so what I do is I pick the closest and I set my gunners to target the torpedo bombers I'm not worried about the actual bombers um, my repair is almost up I'll take the fire if it comes so here I'm slowing down turning into the torpedo bomber all three torpedoes are going to miss. Look over, switch over my AA guns to the other torpedo bombers. I'm now trying to turn into them and start speeding up so I can try to thread between these two torpedoes. That was a, a very sloppy crisscross. He could have probably got me with one or two torpedoes in there, but he just uh, didn't have the, the birds for it, and I saw it coming a mile away. They weren't launched simultaneously. So here I'm trying to get shots out onto him again. Sneaky little bugger. And unfortunately, all of my maneuvering has put me broadside on to the New York. So now I'm tr trying to turn back into him. And somewhere in here, I'm still launching HE. I think I decide to let the uh, these front guns reload, clear the barrels, and finally swap over to AP again. There it goes. So here come the bombers. And like I said, as long as it's not two or three fires, I'm just going to let it burn. I've got the uh, the repair consumable to actually just eat this damage. I'm trying to keep a good angle on that New York, but here come the torpedo bombers again. Those are the ones I'm worried about. Those bombers hurt. I've got three fires going. Here comes one torpedo. Slow down, turn in. It's going to be missed. Set my gunners on that other torpedo, uh, torpedo run. I take a moment to get a shot out because there's not much I can do. I'm full rudder over. And unfortunately, because I looked away, I, I took a, two, uh, a torpedo into the side. Now, I'm not flooding. <laughs> and it's fortunate that I'm not flooding because in the middle of that, I had actually activated my repair consumable to put out the fires because I couldn't have those three fires. And right before it finished, the torpedo hit. And since it, it uh, hit... While the consumable was active, the flooding, if there was any, 
would have been stopped. Then I cut back to take out the, the Texas. Quite a bit to talk about here in just a short little bit. Normally battleships don't see this much action this furious. So here comes the torpedo bombers yet again. But now my friendly carrier. Well, no, not that. <laughs> I take care of that. Oh, I tell the Zuho that uh, he's my Kraken. So now the friendly carrier sees what I'm doing. And you'll notice he's angling his fighters in to intercept those bombers that are coming in. So I start maneuvering to throw off his aim. There's the friendly fighters. They're going to intercept, and because they intercept, the bombers go wide. Now what's really nice here, you'll notice his fighters break off the first flight, switch over to the second flight of bombers. And cause them to miss as well. Saved me. And there's the Kraken. And it was on the Zuho. Just like I told him it, was, it would be. Friendly Carrier has now intercepted a third flight of bombers coming after me. They get through, land a bomb. However, my repair consumable was finally back up. I put the fire out and start putting... Uh, shells down at the independence unfortunately he is the last ship alive everyone's got a bead on him and pretty soon here he is going to be dead question is am i going to get him uh, will my guns get on track no they're not we're going to have the fire going in there and there he goes so, that was a Kraken First Blood, and I believe I also got the... What was it? I'll have the, the screen up. There it is. Uh, yeah, the Kraken. I got a Dreadnought. Co uh, close Quarters. I also got the Close Quarters. And the Confederate. Wonderful round in this ship. I absolutely love this ship, and I'm glad I kept it. Hope you enjoyed the round replay, and I'll see you next time. Have fun.